My name is Mary Alice Young. When I recall my time on Wisteria Lane, I think mostly of good things. Well-maintained lawns, and even better maintained housewives. Of course, there is another side to life on this idyllic street, a darker side. One that my friends and neighbors would do anything to cover up. While we all wish to be the person our neighbors envision us to be, there are always secrets we don't want our neighbors to know. Some are secrets in name only, out in the open for all the world to see. While others find that no matter how much they try to conceal the truth, somehow things always find a way to come back to the surface. As the most successful real estate broker in town, Edie Britt has always understood the importance of first impressions. A bad first impression can cause a prospective buyer to question their decision, while a strong impression will allow you to beat prospective buyers to the punch. However, first impressions can often be misleading. When Edie first met her new neighbors, she thought she had met the perfect family. But as Edie and everyone else in the neighborhood will soon find out, there's no such thing as the perfect family. Welcome to Wisteria Lane. Now that you've created your family, the first thing you should do, well done. Now let's talk a bit excellent. With that, in the upper left corner of the screen is the current time of day and three buttons. Pause, play, Self. and fast. You just received your first alert. The madly fighting assailant has already begun to claw and peck out the eyes of the hunter. Primary goals appear inside your goals tab in blue. Welcome to your... Dogs love meat. Even meat from animals you've never heard of. Blamco's meat snacks are imported from a variety of countries with laws far less stringent than our own. Large your inventory button indicated by a perk. Your photos button indicated by a camera. If you ever find yourself stuck, confused, or want to... Your map button shows you where everyone lives on Wisteria Lane and allows you to move around the neighborhood more easily. If your cell phone lets you call and your needs button, your home panel shows you the status of your home and family. This panel is also where you can... Hello, I'm Edie. You are now involved in... I'm here to show you around your new house, silly. Sometimes people... Do you mind if I come in? Thanks. Now let me give you a little dirt on this place. This house was actually built on an ancient Indian burial ground. Wow, I didn't think you'd be excited about that. You're kind of weird, you know that? Fortunately, I was just kidding. Besides, do you think I'd really tell you if it was? What kind of a saleswoman would I be? There have been a few newsworthy events on this street, however. No, I'm quite serious. Moving on. This is some nice furniture you have in here. Wow, nice big TV. Actually, I just remembered that I have an appointment I need to get to. Houses don't sell themselves, you know. <laughs> Believe me, I wish they did sometimes. Anyway, if you need anything, call me on my cell. Here's the number. At the end of a conversation.
Hello, I'm Bree Vandekamp. Oh, pardon me. To get back to my point, I was just having coffee with some of the neighbors and was wondering if you'd like to join us. Well, please don't take offense, but this place isn't quite... Up for a social gathering from the looks of things. Excellent. See you soon. If you're ever unsure of where to go, follow the blue compass arrow at your feet and it will guide You've just acquired an object. To look at it, click... This is the home of Brie Vandekamp and her children, Andrew and Danielle. Brie is a perfectionist who runs a tight ship. Everything around her must be immaculate. Andrew and Danielle, on the other hand, don't really see eye to eye with her. Ever since her husband Rex died, Brie's control over her children has been slowly slipping away. I'm glad you could make it. And look at you, all dolled up for a girl's night out. I'm sorry to hear that. Why don't you make yourself at home and take a moment to meet everyone personally? to me just the other day. Hello. So nice to meet you. I'm Susan Mayer. Oh, <laughs> I'm not married anymore. Just call me Susan. No, it's okay. Just the standard happy marriage turned bitter divorce. <laughs> At least I got something good out of it. My daughter, Julie. One day, I found out that my ex, Carl, was cheating on me with his secretary. So I did the only sensible thing. I kicked him out. Or he left. Depends on who tells the story, I guess. Well, I'm completely over him now. I can concentrate more on my children's books this way, too. So, tell me about yourself. What does your husband do?
really. I dated a doctor not that long ago. Dr. Ron. Didn't really end that well, though. <laughs> See, the thing is, I had just remarried my ex-husband for health insurance purposes, and I tried to protect Dr. Ron's feelings by not telling him. But uh, for some reason, he didn't get that I was just looking out for him. Really? Maybe you're right. I always wind up hurting people when I'm just trying to do the right thing. Um, I think I've heard enough. I need some time to think. By myself. Howdy, neighbor. Welcome to the neighborhood. I'm Lynette Scavo. <laughs> Let me do a little preemptive strike here and apologize in advance for anything my brood might do to you or your house. <laughs> they are amazing kids, but you know how it is. Sometimes they just get a little out of hand, especially when the three boys get together. I find it's better to prepare the uninitiated for the worst. My twins sometimes act like they just escaped from a zoo, and my oldest just follows along on their adventures. My husband and I don't believe in hitting our children. Don't get me wrong, we punish them, but... In creative ways. Yeah, the truth is, spanking is the way lazy parents teach their children to behave. And Tom and I love our children far too much to be lazy. Besides, every day I deal with advertising executives who behave far worse than my boys. <laughs> Oh, yes. We traded staying home with the kids for the first couple of years, but now we found a way for both of us to work and spend time with the kids. Excuse me? I was a stay-at-home mother for five years. I'm a great mother, and I couldn't love my kids any more than I do. I... you... Yeah, I won't keep you from meeting the others. Bye. Hello, I'm Gabrielle Solis, but you can call me Gabby. This whole thing, it's nothing special. Stella gave it to me years ago, but around here, it's practically haute couture. Very funny, I think. Look, I gotta go. I'm sorry, but if I don't find a bathroom soon, I'm gonna pop out of this thing. Now that we've gotten all the formal introductions out of the way, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself? Oh, 
How nice. And how long have you and your husband been together? Um, hello? You're a woman. Shouldn't that number be etched in your mind somewhere? That's a very strange thing to say. I'll say. Just what do you mean by that? My, I certainly wasn't expecting you to tell us that. I'm terribly sorry I asked. Perhaps we should move on. I don't know, Bree. It's not that bad. I know I've got more than a few moments in my life that I'd like to forget about altogether. Don't take this the wrong way, but that's just so weird. From what you're telling us, it sounds like there's a huge stretch of your life that you can't account for. How could she possibly take that the wrong way, Gabby? I'd like to take this time to apologize on Gabrielle's behalf. Apparently she's been taking notes from the Edie Britt School of Social Etiquette. All I'm saying is that when you only know about one half of your life, there's no telling when the other half might come back for a visit. Ladies? What do you say we cut the small talk and get down to business, hmm? I don't want our new neighbor to think I'm a snoop or anything, but I saw Edie do something questionable the other day. You won't think any less of me for divulging this bit of gossip, will you? I saw her sneaking around and digging through people's mailboxes while I was out jogging. My mailbox? No. It wasn't any of ours, but I thought you should all know about it. What are you talking about? Pills? So that's what she was looking for. They're probably special extra-strength birth control pills. You know, considering how much Edie gets around. Or maybe it's something she puts in her date's drink to get them all riled up. Wouldn't put it past her. You are so going to fit in great around here. I agree completely, and while I would love to stay and continue this discussion, I gotta go before Tom lets the kids play one of his car racing video games again. Yeah, I better get going too. I have some work to do on my book. Your secrets button indicated 